What's up folks? GW Prepper here again. Today we're going to modify our little candle stove and see if I can't make it work with an oil burner lamp. I went and bought me an oil burner base just to see if I could get more heat out of this and kind of see how it works. And i um, having to use bigger cans. I don't have any other spacers but this is just for testing purposes anyways. Um, I'd use different spacers in the end but I just want to see if it would get hotter and how long it burns and all that kind of stuff so hope you guys enjoy just just a little experiment I'll be back when I get it all set up okay I got it all set up see if I can kind of maneuver the camera down here a little bit kind of see how much space there is there with the, the flame so I'm gonna come back and check it in an hour and kind of compare, compare compare it to what it was yesterday when I did it with the candles. And we'll see we'll see what's going on. And I'm also gonna check the temperature of the uh, oil just to make sure it's not getting too hot. I'll be touching it periodically throughout the hour anyways. So anyways, be back in just a little bit. Okay, we're one hour in. Let's see. Oh, that's hot. I can put my hand on it, but I ain't going to be able to keep it there long. Yep. It's already as hot in one hour as, uh, as it was with candles at two hours. So we'll give it a check in one more hour, just kind of see where it's at. What kind of temperature it gets up to and and I'll let you know okay it's actually been about an hour and a half since I, I lit this and I can already tell you that this is too hot to touch up close to the, the top you can't keep your hand up more than just a second it's got some hot spots like on the front here uh, it's hotter here than it is here I'm not exactly sure why but the whole thing's warm and it's, it's radiating it's radiating some good heat I'll kind of let you look underneath here. Kind of see what it looks like. But definitely a success. And if you calculate the price of the candles being, I guess about about five dollars for sixteen candles, that's actually going to last only about five hours or so with the candles, five to six hours and the bottle of lamp oil right there is six dollars and I've barely used any oil in almost two hours so economically speaking the lamp oil is by far the cheapest and it's also the most effective based off of my testing that I've done so far I think that um, you know setting it up a little differently all I have is these cans for spacers I would probably want a spacer that was a little taller so I could crank the flame up a little bit more on the oil burner right now it's got a fairly fairly small flame on it because apparently the oxygen gets sucked out with it being that close to the top of it and it starts flickering when you turn it up in fact, let me turn it up just so you can see. It starts flickering when you turn it up. But you could easily get more, more heat out of this if the canister or excuse me the clay pots were a little higher I've got it turned down pretty good but all in all it was a successful successful test and uh, I'm pleased with it I will probably actually use this I, my heater hasn't even kicked on one time in my little apartment tonight with this little heater going 
Um, it's pretty effective. So hopefully this gives you some ideas on what you can use and what you can do. I'd like to see some some different applications built out of it myself. See what kind of ideas other people have. Anyways, just thought I'd share this with everybody. GW Prepper out.